this is Coffee with Cliff. My name's Cliff Beatty. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Nexus a little bit on Coffee with Cliff. Um, you may recognize me from phone calls to Bard. Uh, we have a great technical team here and I'm part of it. And uh, some of the questions we get is technical question answers is you may have a serial number to a Bard unit out in the field and you would like to find out more information about that unit and uh, maybe get some part numbers of some things that you'd like to order, uh, find some installation instructions that we would have on our website. Uh, so we're gonna get started in Nexus and we're gonna look up some things based on a unit serial number. So I'm gonna go into my computer I'm going to go to the BARD website, www.bardhvac.com, and that'll take me to the BARD website. And I'm right in there. I'm in the BARD website. Um, I'm looking for a feature called Nexus. So Nexus is at the top of the screen. Uh, we're going to click into Nexus, and it's going to go to this login. Now, some of you may not have a login yet. This may be your first time to Nexus. Uh, what you're gonna do in that case is you're going to go in and re request a new account. Uh, but I already have that, so I'm gonna input the data that I have. Uh, and a great feature is it remembers all this. Um, so once you do it, if your browser's set up right, you won't have to remember all this stuff. And then we're gonna go into Nexus login. And here we go, we've got different categories in Nexus login. Uh, we've got all kinds of different information here that we can pick from. Uh, where we're going to go is we're gonna go into warranty finder by serial number. So we're gonna pick that. And then once we go into warranty finder by serial number, we're gonna add, add in our serial number of our model. So we're gonna add in um, you'll see some extra three characters in the beginning of the serial number. We really don't care about those. Um, one cool thing is, uh, if you put a serial number in for a unit before, it'll remember that. So uh, if it's a product that you've looked at before, the serial number will already be in there. And there we go. So here's our unit information. Uh, we've got serial number that we put in, we've got the product model number and that's really important because we can use that later to find out more information so you either write that down uh, a great feature is you can highlight this stuff and copy paste now we've got that model number too so that we can look at different things uh, it tells us the voltage and the product family um, it would tell us when the unit was shipped this unit wasn't shipped so it doesn't have anything in there, but it would tell you all this information. When it was shipped, when it was installed, the dealer, um, the end user, all that great info is already in here. And if you have more than one serial number to look for, you can click here and find other serial numbers. So you can add multiple units to this and keep rolling. So that's the great features of warranty finder by serial number that you can pick over here on the sidebar. So now we've got our model number, right? And we're going to try to find out some information about that product. Uh, a great thing that we can do is we can go in here, uh, use literature by model inquiry, and we can pick that. And then we copied that model number. Uh, and now we can just paste it in. So we'll hit a control V, we'll paste that model number in, hit an enter, and we've got all this great information. We got the wiring diagram, uh, we've got literature, uh, basically everything that you need is right here at our fingertips. So a big one is wiring diagram. Uh, the literature assembly, when we say literature assembly, we're talking about basically everything that shipped with the unit. So that's going to be a 911 number, typically. So that'll be in there. The user guide is a very generic look at maintenance, all those kinds of tips and tricks about changing your filters, um, cleaning coils, things of that nature is going to be in the user guide. Uh, we're going to have a replacement parts manual. We're going to have the warranty 
um, information so that you can see what kind of a warranty the product would have. Uh, and then if there's any other supplemental instructions, those will be listed too. So this is a great resource. And the cool part about this is, uh, let's say we want to look at the literature assembly. We can go over here and we can pick that. So when we pick it, it's going to load that 911 assembly right off of the internet. So here we go. We've got basically everything that's shipped with the product. Uh, we've got all the, the manuals and things. Everything is in there. So this would be a great resource to find out all the information there is to know about that product. Um, now, another great thing is we're still on the BARD website here. Uh, so we can go into the BARD website and we can look up and see all the different wiring diagrams. Let's say the product is older uh, and we want to look at older wiring diagrams or older manuals. Uh, a great feature, I'm going to go back in here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the BARD website. We do a search. We go 4202-204. We're going to do a search. It's going to give us all the search results. So it'll give us all the different wiring diagrams under that number. So we can see all the different revisions all the way back to when the drawing was first created. So that's a great feature that you can use to find other materials that may be um, older materials that you would need. So a lot of great stuff there. Uh, now, one of the biggest ones is let's say we need a replacement parts piece uh, and we can go into the replacement parts manual. Once we go in there, and of course you won't really need to do this because um, BARD units really don't require a lot of replacement parts, but just in case you do, we can go in here and we can look for something that, that we may need to ship a customer. And uh, replacement parts manual, you're, you're going to see a lot of drawings with blue numbers on it. Um, let's say we want a transformer for the control panel. So uh, we got functional components. We're going to keep going right down through the list here until we get to the control panel. Um, you're going to notice that all these parts are balloon number two. Uh, the transformer is balloon number 18. So we're going to go down here. We're going to look for balloon number 18. Now something to remember when you're looking at these replacement parts lists is we're going to have all these unit models. So we want to make sure we're looking at the right part for the right model. So uh, this, this was a 48. So we're going to look at the 48 equipment. And uh, actually, when we go down here and look at the transformers, uh, they're all the same. So that's great news. So all of them take this 8407-048. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to go back to Nexus. Uh, now we're looking for the 8407-048, uh, so we're going to go in here. We can look at service parts availability, and we can just type in 8407-048, and we submit, uh, we can put in a quantity here. We just need one of them today, so we're just going to put one in there. Hit entry. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to tell you based on what's in our, our current um, system that tells us what parts are what. This isn't, this isn't a specific description, but it is a very good look at what you're ordering. And it's a 208-240-24 VA transformer with a four amp circuit breaker. So a good thing to do here is just verify that that matches what you're really looking for. And it does, we're looking for the transformer. Um, it'll give you availability. And it'll give you an effective date, um, pricing and all that. And it'll also give you the model that you need to order. And if you look at this, it put a BX on the end, which is boxed. So we can order this 8407-048 in a box with instructions if needed. And that would be the number that we need to order it based on. Um, so then if we go in there and we type that BX at the end here, We'll put a BX on the end, hit an enter. Ah, we've got that in stock. And here we've got uh, all the same information and we can see if we can order it and we would be ordering that BX number. Now something to remember 
is that some parts are not BX's. Some of them will have an S on the front. Um, some could be a different number. It's very important to start with that base number, look the part up, and then find out what number you need to order to have it shipped to you. So those are some great ways to go in here and find um, support parts that you may need. Some other things that we have is uh, we've got shipping weight, where we can look up shipping weight. Uh, we can look up order statuses. Uh, we can do that as well. Uh, but there's a lot of great features in here. And I really wanna point out to you today that once you look up a number in here, um, the website is a very powerful tool when we go in there and we pick the search feature and then we start looking for documents. So make sure that if there's something that you're looking for, you use the website, use the search feature. It's really easy to use and it'll get you right to the documents that you need. Um, thanks a lot for your time today. I uh, hope you learned a little bit about Nexus and uh, we'll see you next time.